I am Isaki, and it's been about three years since I sat down and made a video for YouTube. <laughs> it's been one hell of a three years. I have been through a lot, which is why I haven't made videos. Life has not been very kind to me, so this is maybe not me coming back officially to YouTube. My message used to be about being yourself, about accepting conflicting sides, liking the cute and kawaii as well as the dark and spooky, and I think nowadays that's pretty commonplace. I see that more trending than anything. People are themselves unapologetically. And the message and the things that I want to say are not the same as what they were. I am not the person I used to be. Life has taken its toll on me. So let's rewind a little bit and go back to where I left off which was right after I had my daughter, Serenity. And I didn't really make videos after that. I wasn't in a good position. I wasn't sure about where the future was going. I was dealing with a lot of emotions in regards to my daughter's biological father. So... Shortly after that, I got a new job at a cannabis dispensary, and I enjoyed it, and it was really good and taught me a lot. The people there, though, were not the ideal people that I would have wanted to work with, most of them. Some of them were absolutely sweet, and I am still very good friends with one of them today. She's an absolute best friend of mine, and she has such a beautiful heart. I did meet someone at that dispensary, and it did not go well, ultimately. I do blame pregnancy brain on that, because after some time, when all of my senses and my straight thinking came back, I was like, I didn't see these things. You're like, what? I, at the time when I had my little one, I was living in a roommate situation with a couple people, with a couple that I didn't know <laughs> before I had moved in with them. I, I literally didn't have anywhere to go. Um, an ex friend of mine had let me down with plans that were supposed to happen where she and I were supposed to get a place together and they were not reliable and I didn't realize that at the time. So I had a roommate situation and I always have had social anxiety and I always feel very much like a burden to other people if I'm relying on someone else's kindness. So I wanted to let them have their space as quickly as I could again. And so this person that I met, I thought they were really good and they turned out to not be mentally stable at all. And fortunately it did provide me a time to step into a better job at a different cannabis dispensary and get some of my shit together. Um, that I had ruined from a past relationship. Uh, and I'm talking about financial-wise. So that was a really good stepping stone, but the situation was extremely precarious, and eventually I was able to step away from them, finally get my own place again, which is where I'm at. And um, I have a family member that lives with me, and I have my little one who is now three and a half years old, and she brings me a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. 
and she is the only reason why I keep fighting so much to try to provide a better life and a better situation for her. I look back on a lot of my family instances that were not positive from when I was a child. There was mental, emotional, and a lot of strong religious abuse, and I try to reflect and provide better parenting to her and a better, happier situation for her. Once I got my own place, I listened to outside opinions and I filed for child support from my daughter's biological father. And that wound up being a $3,000 mistake on my part. Fortunately, I was able to have some savings at the time to afford a lawyer because it completely backfired on me. The biological father um, put some things in the legal paperwork so that I cannot disclose certain details. I mean, he definitely doesn't want his dirty laundry laundered out in the open. That's just the type of person he is. Needless to say, he is still not in her life and everything falls on me for her as it had been so um yep <laughs> if you're ever in that situation it's always better in my personal opinion to provide the best that you can for your kid and never allow someone else that you know is not that doesn't love them no matter who it is to enter your life or their life for any reason whatsoever if they cannot provide a positive situation which is another reason why i didn't stay with the previous person um or anyone else that i've had relationships with is because I have learned that I have self-worth and that's taken me about a decade to realize I had a lot of bad examples growing up and I will make a video about my childhood at some point. I will make very particular videos about certain topics that I think should be shared as learning examples. After that $3,000 mistake in November of 2020, I lived only a couple blocks away from the place that I was working at the time. And I was on a electric scooter, not a moped, an electric scooter that only went like 13 miles per hour and I would ride it on the sidewalk. And I lived like two blocks away from where I was working, so I would use that as my transportation because previously the car that I had, the engine literally sounded and like a gunshot and it died and so I didn't have transportation. As I was riding that scooter home at night, it was about 8.40 and I was going across a crosswalk and the cars were piled up at a red light, like three or four cars deep, except for the right turn lane. I'm going across the crosswalk on my scooter, as I always did, and the car coming down the right turn lane did not stop. They kept coming. And by the time I realized, oh shit, they are not stopping, they're not slowing down, it was too late for me to react, and I got hit by a driver that fell asleep at the wheel. And that changed my life. I didn't break any bones, but I now live with chronic pain every day. I cannot do a lot of things anymore like I used to. I haven't been hiking since I got hit. I I can't I can't go on roller coasters. I can't walk very long distances. Um, and I'll make a whole video about that because I 
was in so much pain all the time and I could not walk away from my job because there is no one else that could provide any support and I stuck that out and I had someone else that I had met at that dispensary <laughs> second dispensary and this person was lovely they were lovely they had some issues as does everybody there will never be such thing as a perfect relationship Anyone who tells you differently is selling you something, as they say in Princess Bride. And I honestly thought this person was, was good. And I had met them right before my accident, and we were talking, and then they were there for me, and they helped me. <sighs> Eventually, even after they were trying to take on the role of the father, they completely ghosted. And um, that hurt. I hurt a lot emotionally. It's not something I think I'll ever be able to comprehend. Um, they chose a raver, party kind of life, which is not a life that I have chosen. It's not the type of life that I want to lead or provide or be an example for for my daughter. So, after about six months of trying really hard to stick it out at my cannabis job because it was me working in um, inventory, so the requirements were lifting 40 pound boxes or heavier of glass jars and up and down and on your feet, and doing paperwork and grabbing product for customers and such. It was set up very much like an Apple store. I opened multiple locations for that company and I was damn good at my job but I was not getting the help that I needed especially because people were worried about the big C at the time and we were very short staffed as are most places because most places don't want to provide the correct pay and benefits and stuff that people need to survive obviously as we as a society are learning so after about Six months I I had to walk away and that was very scary for me I had some money put aside but not a whole lot and I jumped in to trying to be my own boss um, which is where I'm at I pushed forward with my writing so I have Ghost written multiple novels, multiple books for other people, and that was awesome, and I love it. And editing, and I'm doing my own writing. Uh, you can find multiple works of mine on Amazon through their Kindle Bella subscription service um, or periodic service, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to have a Kindle or anything. You can read it right on your computer from Google Chrome or whatever you have. And uh, you can see that under my name, Saki Bulkley. If you guys are interested, I write horror. I've done some romance and children's bedtime stories. I found out I'm pretty good at. <laughs> Funny. So the car accident was the absolute worst. Um, and I do get severe pain. I sometimes even have to use a cane. My knees will never be the same again. I had actually torn my right knee about a month prior on a hike and I still have to use a brace. Um, I did try to rely on cannabis to help manage my pain because I grew up with a mother that was also in a car accident when I was in middle school. They relied on prescription drugs and I became very addicted and eventually became like I was living with someone that had untreated bipolar and Alzheimer's diseases. Um, and it was horrible. It was horrible. Mixed with the religious abuse and all the other stuff that was going on and toxic relationships from them. It was literal hell. And so I decided I did not ever want to become that person with my kids. So I wanted to try to do it naturally. And it worked out really well for a while until I developed something called uh, cannabis hyperkinesis syndrome, CHS, which is not well 
first talked about, studied. Most doctors don't know about it or anything. I had to self-diagnose because I could not eat. I dropped down to 93 pounds at some point. And like I said, I'll go into a lot more details about my accent and about this in a whole other video because, like I said, it is not very well known. And I think the information really, really needs to get out there. And dropping down to 93 pounds where it hurts to laugh and to move and your joints ache and everything, it, it, I knew that I was going to either fall down and my heart give out or something, or I was going to wind up waking up in a hospital with feeding tubes in me and stuff. And I did not want to reach that point. So that has been what I've been struggling with. Um, I had to stop writing for a while because I started developing symptoms in my right arm and hand that my arm was like stiffening up and I'm trying to go see a neurologist about that. I have nerve damage down on both my legs. Yay for more sciatic pain. Whoever has been pregnant and experienced that or if you've injured to you know what that is. You know it's not fun and it affects how you walk and your mobility and how you sit and a lot of things. So there are many more doctors that I'm still seeing and just recently I have tried to make the decision to go on disability which has been the hardest thing because I have always been a fighter. And I don't like admitting that I am not the strong person that I am used to being and accepting new limitations is very hard for me. Um, so I, I tried to do my own online business. Um, that didn't work out. So I became an online reseller and I was writing and I will talk about those things, like I said, in other videos. But yeah, that has been everything that I've been going through. And it's been hard. And it's been rough. But I'm still here. Still trying to figure things out. And every day is not easy. And every day I feel like if one thing happens, everything's going to collapse. And I don't know what I'm going to do. It's very scary. No, I'm not going to get a shit ton of money from the accident and um, I'm not going to be set for life and trying to go for disability is very hard but just got to keep going so that's everything that I've I've been dealing with and struggling with and because none of it is positive and I don't really have a lot of positive things to say anymore I haven't made videos but now I have some messages that I think really need to be talked about so other people can recognize certain things and so other people can heal and not make the same mistakes that I did. So that's where we're going with this channel. And if you want to stick around, that's great. I'm not going to be talking about Japanese fashion anymore. I haven't even worn it in a long time. I don't really get out much anymore because I have PTSD about things and I can't drive because of my pain. So, yeah, the, the world has changed and I don't see things the way that I used to. But I hope you will stick around and learn from the things that I went through. So you don't go through them. And as always, may the force be with you. I'll see you around.